Hello friends, how are we today? I am in a very bright and breezy light mood. I always find that after a day that's a little more challenging energetically, there's such a sweet relief or release um, just from sitting with yourself, right? From being able to love yourself through a process, um, whatever that looks like. I had a great chat with a friend in the evening, got to play some music and just release a little. And I suppose today what I'd love to like speak into is the idea of choice. The idea of having an abundance of choice and the universe at the moment is really showing me how much choice we really have in each moment to calibrate to the frequency we want to feel, we want to experience. And even if the frequency we're feeling isn't like happiness and joy, it doesn't mean we're not necessarily tuning to the highest vibration. It doesn't necessarily mean that we're not in alignment. I think there's a, a bit of a misconception in the spiritual community about how if you feel bad, that means you're out of alignment. Or if you feel like something isn't... Um, how you like imagine it to be like how you imagine yourself to be then it's out of alignment I kind of take a different approach it's almost like feeling into your body and feeling where the energy is for example if you can feel I can feel in myself this almost pillar of energy down the center it's quite far forward at the moment sometimes it's further back in the body sometimes it's stronger or a bit more numb like a bit uh colder in con in consistency but for me it usually feels like just a strength and it goes down to the belly button just below and then above and up and that's like if i'm acting from this space and i can almost feel it directing itself right that's my what I feel as my alignment sometimes there'll be an energy that pulls me off in this direction and towards the left hand side or sometimes there'll be an energy that that kind of dominates from that direction and that's what I uh, classify as like my more feminine receptivity my more masculine action so depending on where in my body I'm feeling pulled from I can usually tell what it would be in alignment with Right. So I'm not saying everyone is the same. I think we all kind of develop our own system of awareness. Like maybe some people are a lot more mental. I think that that's the training of our society is that we kind of think our way into alignment. But that's not really the case uh, from my understanding. Again, who am I to tell anyone anything? <laughs> I'm just a human and um, very much enjoying that experience. So. One, one thing I have also been noticing in the sense of uh, choice is how we can choose to see something as a positive or a negative. We can choose to see something as just existing and that's okay. Or we can create a story and we can create a story that's quite empowering around something, even if it doesn't necessarily feel that empowering. So for example, Abraham Hicks talks about... Uh, how on the emotional scale the levels of vibration of, of emotion that something like resentment or anger is much higher on the scale than powerlessness and defeat and despair and shame and I think Richard R is it Richard Hawkins or David Hawkins David Hawkins uh also has pardon me a scale of emotional vibration, like the frequency in which you vibrate at each emotion. Do some research on that. I can't, I'm, I'm not a researcher. I am, but I'm not, you know, so there's plenty of people say better things than me. I'm just referencing. <laughs> um, and yeah, like that choice doesn't have to be so dramatically different. Like you can't really get from there to there, as Abraham says, you can't get from despair into joy straight away. You have to climb the scale in a way that feels natural or innate and or you choose consciously to realign your energetic state. And it might take a little time. You know, we get quicker and quicker and quicker at rising up and down the vibrational scale because we have less 
stickiness in the body in the energy field that keeps us on one level for a while like for instance now it takes me if I'm really down in the despair energy it can be a matter of seconds a matter of minutes a matter of hours a matter of day a day usually it doesn't last more than a day anymore anymore but I went through a stage of life where I was you know like a whole month couldn't get out of bed really really low energy on that spectrum um and I suppose what I'd love to share is there's nothing right or wrong there is nothing right or wrong it's literally just what we're choosing to share and amplify in the world around us so for example if we're choosing to amplify a despair that actually might be what's needed in that moment because the person who we're with could be able to receive that and make something beautiful from that with you. Co-create a shared experience of connection, a shared experience of love, a shared connection of understanding, of shared experience, you know. So lots of beautiful things can come from anywhere on that scale. And it's important that we're not labeling things as good or bad. It's just one is of a higher frequency and the other is of a slightly lower frequency, but it's not low is bad and high is good. It's like uh, sound waves, right? Some sounds are lower and some sounds are higher. And when you have a little bit of both, it makes a nice little melody. So that's life, right? That's the human experience. Well, I've certainly had a nice little... Um, tangent here today about choice choosing our vibrational frequency and choosing to take responsibility for that in whichever way we can you know allowing ourselves outlets like music or therapy or counseling or tarot cards so many possibilities and I would love to invite you if you are interested on getting to know yourself more and you are interested in these emotional realms. It is actually my area of work. <laughs> I'm a coach also and um, an intuitive connection coach is how I would formally describe myself. Essentially, what that looks like is we dive into the energetics of what you're experiencing and how you're experiencing it. So perhaps depending on the person, I would enter the energy field with you. I'm a reflector from human design. I don't know if that means anything to anyone, but essentially it's very easy for me to clear my channel and become attuned to whatever is in front of me, especially with specific focus, intention, protection, obviously all in alignment. And we work through the process together. Then we would either come out the energy field if that was available to us. I'm always happy to just observe and be that kind of mirror aspect instead of fully entering into an energy field. So um yeah, it's it's just what is most in alignment with God's source frequency for the highest good of all. And so it is. Nothing ever comes through, through that isn't totally in alignment. And something that I've noticed recently is I would like to only be doing this in paid services. I would love to share it online, but I really believe that it's a process that needs an unfolding after the event because a lot of transformation a lot of new information can come through in a session with me through an energetic exchange and I do believe that it's important to have perhaps five or six blocks of time so that we can really explore and delve into the energetics of what's going on and create positive reinforced story around that recently had an experience that has really educated me on how I should not be just offering my services for free. There needs to be an energetic exchange. There has to be a valuable energetic exchange that both sides are valuing. So yeah, it's really important with the work that we're doing to feel honored and cherished and loved in the process. And that's very important for me to continue. So if that feels beautiful for you, just let me know in the comments below and I can send you a link. We can kind of connect a bit deeper to see if I might be the right person to assist you in your emotional deep diving. <laughs> that was the ocean. That, that was a bubble, I guess. All right, my loves. <laughs> well, I'm going to go play guitar now. And um, thank you for being here. Thank you for existing. Oh yeah, and another thing, like this YouTube channel is completely free. I'm going to be posting pretty much every day. I'm sure every day I have been for the last month or so. And I'm really enjoying that 
time quality time we get to spend together sometimes obviously I'm a bit higher in my vibration sometimes a bit lower as is any human being but I think it's also a great opportunity to kind of see how another being thinks um, I do encounter a lot of people on my journeys I've traveled to a lot of places I'm not saying I'm an expert in any way but I certainly have my own expertise of my own reality so if that is a resonance to you I would love to have you subscribe and follow the journey may we unfold together and regardless if this is a one-time thing thanks for being here lots of love and uh all unfolds in the perfect way and so it is i look forward to serving you have a blessed day